Hey everybody, welcome to Thursday, May 7th, 2020's Midweek with Matt. Now I know it's a little bit later than midweek, it's like late midweek, but I'm glad you decided to join us today. And the reason why we're doing it a little bit later today is because today it's the National Day of Prayer. Now my original plan was not to start it on a Thursday and it wasn't to talk about prayer, but because today is National Day of Prayer, because of everything that is going on, that's where we're gonna go. My original plan was actually to talk about our upcoming people from the Gospel Project. They actually will be talking about this weekend. Two people by the name of Simeon and Anna, found in Luke chapter two. Now Simeon and Anna, probably, if they weren't written about by Luke, would have been two people that like billions of other people that have lived in this world, merely affected the people that were around them, affected their lives, affected their small part of their world, and within a few generations, they were forgotten about. But, because Luke wrote about them, man, I'll tell you, they have a great story. They have a great testimony. To be able to, to see the way they were patient in their waiting, to be able to, to see the life that they live, to live a holy and devout life as Luke describes it, uh, to be led by the Spirit, to be filled by the Spirit, to be guided by the Spirit in their decisions. It's going to be an exciting thing to be able to talk about this week. And I'll be very honest with you, when we very first started, it was not something that I was excited about. I thought, oh, I, what are we going to talk about with them? But the more that I studied, the more excited I got about who they are, what they do, and even how much it fits into what we are dealing with even so right today. So I hope you can tune in this weekend as we talk about that. But because it's the National Day of Prayer, because we are where we are in our world, that is really what I want to focus on today. You know, with it being the National Day of Prayer, I really felt that this was more appropriate. You see, with, with all the turmoil, with all the fears, with, with all the things going on with this worldwide sickness, this worldwide pandemic, and, and now uh, with the worldwide struggles of economy and the worldwide things that are going on, and then you kind of bring it back to a local and the racial tensions are starting to kick back up again because of some incidences that have happened recently. You know, there's economic insecurities, there's job insecurities, there are so many things going on. We need to pray for the presence of God right here and right now. We need to pray that God is known, and not just known, but His name is glorified in and on this earth through His people like you and like me. So what I want to do today is I simply just want to pray. And you can pray along with me, and as this video ends, you can continue to pray. I know there's things that are being broadcast uh, online tonight on Facebook Live and different things all about the National Day of Prayer. Please Google it, please look it up, please check it out and be a part of it. But would you pray and join with me now as we just pray for God's presence? Let's do that now. Dear God, it's your name that is honored from generation to generation. You alone are worthy of all glory and praise. And, and you're not shocked by the state of the world right now. Your ways are not our ways. And, and you're not at a loss about what to do. Nothing's impossible for you. We talked about that last week. So today we're proclaiming that you will be glorified through this pandemic. That your name will be known and praised throughout the earth. I pray that you will visit us and, and make your presence known in our lives and in our cities. Give us faith. Give us faith to believe that, that you can change our worlds through prayer and through acts of love and compassion. Let your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Help us to cultivate your presence in our lives. We choose to partner with you for transformation in our world. Use us, God. Help us to love our cities more. Thank you for removing so many of the distractions in our lives that have kept us from your presence and brought us closer to you during this pandemic. God. I repent of any pride or personal idols that have taken me away from you in the first place and, and keeping me from being completely yours. God, I, I want you to take away any lukewarmness in my heart and I, I want you to set me on fire for you. And I pray that for 
the people that, that are coming alongside me in this prayer as well. We also ask that you just pierce the darkness with your light. Shine brighter than the fears of death, the fear of economic ruin, or, or the, even the fear of a long quarantine. We look back on what you've done and we want to say when we look back on this moment, this moment in history, we will be filled with joy as we remember the revival, hope, and peace that came out of this season in our lives. God, we ask you to continue to draw this hurting world back to you, and it's all in your son's holy name that we pray. Amen. Guys, I hope that you are encouraged. I hope that you have a great Thursday. I pray that you are able to join with us in prayer and, and just lift up our communities and see God's name glorified. Have a great Thursday. I look forward to worshiping with you virtually on Saturday or Sunday. Thank you very much.